Good day. This is Emilio Wilson Park, 1st of July 2013. And Sir Roland Richardson is painting a flamboyant tree, the national tree of St. Martin. I hope you enjoy this film and we hope to see you on St. Martin. Thank you. You need all this stuff in order to be able to do your work. So what is this? A very clever little contraption here. Because now it becomes upright. Oh. Those are a mixture of varnish, of purified thickened oil, mm -hmm. and turpentine as a dilutant. The oil gives richness to the color, which is a pigment, mm -hmm. which impregnated with the oil has more intensity of color. <laughs> but dries slowly. Okay. And the varnish is transparent and dries quickly or quicker and holds everything in place and creates a shield to protect it. And the turpentine is that. Getting installed and all of that. It's indispensable to be able now to hold my brushes and not worry. Yeah. See? So it has to be solved and has to be done. And if you can't solve it, then you can't ever get around to painting the picture. picture. And that includes, of course, when you go into very large canvases, because then you're, you have this multiplied by five or six. <laughs> you know, it's a much bigger problem to resolve. And how many years have you been doing this? Getting close to 50. <laughs> And it's, an, it's a still learning process, because here I am. I know it's easy to say it's a flamboyant tree, the color and the splendor, but what is the tree? First of all, the tree is nothing that is actually solid. No. Because no part of the tree can enter my eye without hurting me. So only the light gives me, and the color, the image of what I see, not its physicalness. No. So it means it's not solid. And if it's not solid, what is it? Well, it's made up, we say, of color. Yeah. And beautiful color. Absolutely. And then we have to naturally ask, well, but where does the color come from? Sun. Sun, and the light. The light. And where does the light come from? Uh, I'm agnostic, so. <laughs> That's all right. You have followed right up to here. So the light is created by something that is more than the light. Yes. And that process reveals itself, first of all, as what we call light, which is invisible to us. Okay. And inaccessible to us, that level. Of total purity, where everything is, because everything depends on the sun. Yeah. So then, that light, which represents that which created the light, <laughs> which is the light in that particular form, transforms itself and then reveals itself where now we can see it and reveals itself as color. Okay. Because light 
is the source of color. So color has, as it comes out of light, is a property of light, but in this case, there are three properties, because it's a trinity. Mm. It is three pure colors, red, yellow, and blue. Not in sequence, but simultaneously. Mm. And not a piece and a piece and a piece. Totality, all of them, but each yet none individual. And with those three colors, all of the other colors are made. Yes. Consequently, everything that we see is made up of color, which comes from light, which was created by that which we cannot imagine, <laughs> no. but which is, is, and this is a manifestation and a proof. <laughs>